Hey guys, we're out here on the ranch and I'm going to show you what I use uh, when I go camping, backpacking, or if I'm doing some adventure riding, dual sport on the old dirt bike. And I need to find a way to heat up water that doesn't take up a bunch of room. Now if I've got the room and the space, like if I'm doing some truck camping, of course I'm going to take a bigger stove. Um, but this right here is what has worked for me for a long time a few years now uh, I've done the OBCDR two times with this setup and uh, it's worked pretty well I haven't found anything better than it uh, yet First of all is the actual stove itself and this is the pack that it comes in and I gotta say that the actual case is horrific. Uh, it's this mesh material, it doesn't provide any sort of protection whatsoever and when you're trying to get your stove out it can be quite a pain because all the little sharp spots on the stove gets hung up on this mesh. So. Uh, when I'm actually carrying this thing around, uh, I, I leave this at home. I don't bring the mesh uh, casing. I just use the pocket that comes on the canteen case. But this is the stove itself. And I bought a Nomad Life branded one. Um, but BRS is another company that makes the exact same one. But you got to admit, that's cool. It's so light. It's all titanium. And uh, that's some pros and cons to that. It weighs absolutely nothing. And this is all it is. Less than an ounce. And the room that it takes up compared to anything else out there, there's nothing else that compares. The uh, MSR makes a great product, but it's way bigger. Uh, and there's some trade-offs with that. So when this is actually on your canister, and these canisters last a while, uh, you've got to be really careful with this guy because he's not the most robust out there. These arms are really skinny and I've learned from experience that unless you have this guy perfectly flat on your surface it won't support whatever you're heating. Uh, these get red hot and you can see that they're titanium because They've, you know, they've got that blue coloration, but when you're shooting along, they get red hot, and they will buckle if it's not completely distributed. If you don't have all the weight distributed evenly on these arms, uh, one of them will buckle. Now I had that happen in the field when I was out camping on the dirt bike doing the OBCDR, and I came in with my uh, Leatherman, and I did some repair action. And it got me through the rest of the trip, and I still use it. This is the exact same one that was bent. I got home, and I was able to straighten out a little bit better. Um, so you've got to be careful. You pay a price. Uh, it's lightweight. I wish they made these thicker, just a little bit, because the added weight that would have given would be negligible. However, the strength that would have provided would have been significantly more uh, beneficial. But in the uh, pack, I've also got matches just in this cool little old school match case now, I usually use a lighter to be perfectly honest that's in there uh, just because it fits and in case I lose my lighter this is the canteen I use it's just a GI spec canteen it's not my favorite because if you squeeze on it see if I can get it to do it here if you squeeze on it it will you can see that water's coming out I can't get that any tighter now if it's on an upright position, it's really not that big of a deal because it doesn't leak. But if it's 
sitting out in the sun, getting really hot, and it expands, you've got it completely full, you get a little bit of leaks. Now, it's not enough to make it so I don't use it. I still use it, um, but I do have plans on getting the Nalgene one in the future and seeing if that one's any better. It, it may not be, I don't know. But what I use as my cup is a GI Spec Steel Canteen Cup. You know, on Amazon, you can go and you can get the aluminum ones. Uh, those are trash. I wouldn't trust them. These will hold up way better to abuse. And you can see, I've put this thing right up to the fire. And that worked. It takes longer than the stove does. And you get a lot of ash in your water or whatever else that you're cooking. And um, so this is definitely a better alternative to just sticking this on the fire. Now, in the pack, I also have this stove. I got this from the canteenstore.com and it's not my favorite. I keep it in there because it really doesn't weigh that much and it fits snugly right on the end of this guy. Um, but the theory is you stick this on the floor, you set a fire with this guy and then you feed sticks into the bottom of this. The problem is it just doesn't get hot enough. The amount of material that you can fit on this uh, it just doesn't get the heat up. It will boil, but it takes you know 20 minutes, and if there's a wind, uh, it really won't. Um, you can build up what I usually what I usually would do would just stick this right hot in the coals, and then stick this guy on it. That way, this isn't right in the coals. But either way, man, the handle will get really, really hot. You gotta use your leather mint to pinch in this and grab it out, and it's not as convenient or as fast as this guy right here. So that's what's in the pack. And this is the stove. Now, I like the stove, but it is, you pay a price. You, you sacrifice some uh, heat, some strength. It, it doesn't put out that much heat. I'll show you guys the flame. Um, it doesn't put out a whole lot of heat. If there is any wind coming through, and you've got this guy going and you don't have a wind block the amount of heat that's directed straight up is not nearly as much as if it's on a calm day like it is today where all the heat is going right up so besides being slightly weak it's not the most robust design and not being the most uh, wind efficient design I still think for what you get for being how small it is you can't beat it Thanks for tuning in, guys.